Hey guys, Mike here. We got Josh from uh, Trinity Exotics. Sure. Yes. Yeah. And uh, he's great enough to help me out. And we're sweating already. And we're only on our second rack. This is the beautiful Freedom Breeder 1575. No, it's not put together. We got our base ready. It was pre-assembled. Um, basically, this is on the bottom, flipped over, and everything is stacked on. So you just got to unload everything, get your base situated. Um, there's a couple inserts. I got the uh, insulated uh, heat panels. That's what I always get. Uh, the word, I guess, is that if you got ambient temperatures above... Above 80 degrees, you don't need to go with it. But if your ambient temperatures drop below 80 at any time, insulated is actually a lot better for your snakes. It keeps everything kind of right where you want it. Yeah, so because it pushes heat down, pushes heat up, so it keeps that heat really well. You got less heat loss out of there. So uh, we're ready to assemble. We also got a shelf that we're putting in here. I did order a shelf so you guys will see what that's all about. Uh, Josh, you ready to show them? Yeah, so just uh, if you guys do Freedom Reader, make sure it's on the bottom floor. This stuff is heavy. Yeah. You know, each shelf is probably about 75 pounds. Yeah, we're, we're on the second floor here. We dragged this thing up just so we didn't have to have a super long video. Uh, but uh, yeah, the, 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 the bins were preloaded on here. Uh, this one actually came on a pallet with my uh, rodent rack, uh, kind of back to back uh, to save on shipping, which was great. Uh, but yeah, let's do this. Let's uh, show you guys how this thing uh, goes together. Yeah. All right, all right. Go from premium babysitter to premium rack builder. <laughs> yes. So it's got to kind of go in all at the same time, otherwise you have angle issues. There we go. Sometimes it shifts a little bit in the shipping, so. Well, that sometimes you got to give it a little knock. It does actually tell you to have a little rubber mallet. Two, two. All right. Keep in mind it's 95 degrees out, so this metal is hot, and it does make it a little bit harder to get them into. That's my rubber mallet. <laughs> help having a second person doing this by yourself it's gonna take quite a while and it definitely does help and they do recommend a two person there's water good job there's the water <laughs> oh you know what we forgot the shelf Oh yeah, we forgot the shelf. Look at that, we were just going crazy. We forgot so, the shelf base. We're gonna have to let's, take three let's off. Let's drop three off? Yeah, three off. So, well, we got uh, two more. We can just take this shelf out, no? Nope. Yeah. Oh yeah, you wanna go four? Nope, three. Three. All right, we'll just drop right here. Yeah. Now we're gonna have to take four off. We got too excited, guys. <laughs> Uh, that's the back. Uh, hey, Daddy. Hey. Yeah, we got Carter over here trying to help. Watch your hand, Carter. Watch out, buddy. All right. So, do you want to go more, or is that enough? Ooh, I think it might be high. One, one too many. So, so, let's pull the shelf off. Do we can. No, so pull the board off. Here, let's just let's just pick two back up. Two back up. Yeah. And just grab one. Okay. And just grab one. Just grab one. Yeah. Gotta make sure you got that shelf where you want it. I think that's about right. Yeah. Right? Because bin. Bin, right? Yep. Yeah. yeah. So there's no heat it's here. Perfect. Alright. Where are we going? Two? Two. 
Yeah, it just got stuck. We'll get the last and then A little jiggle, jiggle. Just a little bit. Nice. This is tall. Show people problems. Feel bad for Kendra if she ever gets Freedom Breeder. She doesn't need a ladder to <laughs> check the top five tubs. All right, guys. So here you have your 1575 Freedom Breeder hatchling racks with cup holders. I, I definitely highly recommend paying the extra dollar per tub. I want it. And Carter's trying to help Moses record here. I want it. It's okay, buddy. It's so, nice. yeah, highly recommend this, guys. Pay the extra dollar. Trust me, you do not want your snakes knocking over your water everywhere and making a mess uh, of your bins. So, uh... Yeah, uh, now let me show you here. We're going to flip this around here. So now you just got to get, got to get your electrical out. So you just push the bins in. You can just pick this up right here and grab your cord right here. And then there's a hole right here. So right here, there's a little hole. So you just bend this out. Get your cord in here, in the groove. Bend that back. Now your cord is not going to get pinched at all. So, and then you're ready to hook it up to a strip panel, hook it up to your thermostat, and you're ready to go. Obviously, you can add extra levels if you like to. Uh, these uh, racks also come. Uh-oh, what happened? No sinking there. These racks also come with uh, interchangeable ventilation system. So I got the 25% here, uh, but you can get 50, 75, 100. Uh, I heard some of the uh, Florida people have to use like 200% uh, ventilation on these. Uh, but obviously here in Washington State, you know, we want uh, as least amount of humidity escaping out of the tubs. So these are nice and easy. You can swap them out anytime. Um, you just pop them right in here. Oh my goodness. I'm dripping. I'm like dripping. So it just slides right in. Helps it go in straight. And then your protector with the Freedom Breeder stamp right there, right there to hold all that in place. Uh, another good feature, if you want a Freedom Breeder rack, but you don't have the space or the time to, or the money, to get a full rack, you can order a half rack. You know, you're gonna get quite a bit of bins for half the space and half the money, and it's still gonna be pretty equivalent. So you could actually go waist high and be set. Yeah. You know, and just do a whole, room waist high to racks they have a lot of different options available uh, so you don't have to order yeah like you were saying you don't have to order the full racks you can also order extra levels as well 
Uh, they do have compact units for smaller space sizes. We'll have all the links down below for Freedom Breeder. They got some amazing channels, not just for their snakes. Jesse does a great job with his snake stuff. Uh, but uh, check out their website. Uh, they got some really cool stuff there. Or if you just need bins, they have accessories and all that that they sell as well. But I hope you guys like this video of the assembly on the Freedom Breeder 1575. Guys, love you. God bless. And we'll see you guys next time.